6.35, the alarm rings. With a slightly awkward movement, you press the snooze button on the device. You never care to know what snooze means, but you do know that nine minutes later, the alarm will ring again. Unless... 6.45, you don't need it. 7.11, eating breakfast. On the radio, the news. A 5.4 earthquake in South America. That's fine. Federal Nadal, 1-1, unless it's the other. Today the sky is grey and the thermometer should reach 12 degrees in the afternoon. Well, just another 54 days before spring. 7.22, you put your almost empty cup in the sink, turn off the radio and when putting on your coat you tell yourself that at least not too many deaths were announced in the news. 7.24, the street, the cold, the people, you put your headphones on and you take off. 7.30, on the bus. You close your eyes, not completely, but almost. 8.05, in the crowd. You get off the bus right in the city center. You walk in the street with other gray jackets in front of you. Your walk is steady, but fast, following the pace of an era that is in a hurry. Suddenly, the movement slows down. You hit the person in front of you who also stops abruptly. And before you, a hundred heads bow. You lift your eyes to the sky. A piano. A pianist suspended in the air. You take off your headphones. He's playing the piano. You stand there in the middle of the street, motionless like the others around you. One minute, five minutes, twenty minutes, it's difficult to say. And then suddenly you start walking 